Hey there, I am Christy Ruffino, former broke single mom turned CEO of two six-figure businesses and best-selling author with 15 books. But it wasn't always like this. Not long ago, I was a hot mess. Yes, I did a lot of things right, but mostly I was throwing spaghetti on the wall to see what would stick. Fast forward past many failed attempts and a few incredible victories, I not only get to share what I've learned along the way, I get to bring together top influencers as they share their empowering stories, insider secrets, and valuable resources that can be used right now to step into your power. So if you're an ambitious entrepreneur, or possibly one in the making, and you're looking to create a business and life that lights you up, well, then you're in the right place. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to today's episode of the Mastery Unleashed podcast. This is Christy Ruffino, the host of today's show and the solo contributor, or say, should I say the solo guest. Um, I am on a four-episode mission uh, to not interview with people, but to share some, some specific details to help entrepreneurs, coaches, and healers actually make more money with their business, elevate their brand, and just make a bigger impact by uh, really being able to help their clients in a huge way and help more clients. And so today I'm going to focus on five tweaks to boost your personal brand. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like my business is lost in a sea of other amazing businesses out there. And even though I want to be noticed, of course, we all want our businesses to be noticed. However, it's not something that happens easily. We have to be really strategic in our messaging, our branding, and honestly, how we create epic results for our clients. Because one of the amazing ways you can actually create your brand to become even better, honestly, boost your brand, is to have incredible testimonials for your clients. So my tip number one in how you can, uh, I should say this, my tip number one of my five tweaks of how you can boost your personal business brand is to get and share your client testimonials. Um, Yes. So every time you share a success story or a case study from one of your clients, what that does is it allows you to connect with your audience through their success story. And because we all know that stories are the best way to teach and inspire others, why not use your client's success stories as walking, talking, breathing stories to attract your clients in there. Now, I don't know if you have a system in place to get these tips or to get these uh, testimonials, but I've been adopting some new strategies into my business to ensure that these testimonials come in. And so whenever I do a workshop, part of my process of making sure my attendees give me feedback is I've created a a, kind of like a little system um, that if they want the free resources that I shared, and if they thought that the workshop was valuable, to go to LinkedIn and share their results, like share what they loved about the workshop. And then once they've done that, then I send them the resource. That's a way for it can be for it to be a win-win for both of them. Now I do that with my clients too. Now, of course, I'm not bribing them, um, but my clients are constantly sharing. Uh, information or sharing little messages to me, text messages, emails, talking about like whenever they're excited about a big win. Um, and whenever they thank me about something that happened with their business. So right away I ask, is it okay if I share this? And I'm, they say, of course. Um, I also have a process where once I'm done working with my clients, I send them a form to get their 
feedback. Now, what I do is I actually send them an anonymous form. They feel better. I know who, typically you know who it's from if they're giving me specific feedback, um, but it does make people feel better if I give them the option to give uh, me an, an, an anonymous feedback. So uh, tweak number one is make sure that you're leveraging your client testimonials. Tweak number two is to make sure you have your story in everything related to your business brand, whether it is having your story created to be in a book and then using that story to create all of your story assets, or if you're not going to be in the book, still put your story together in a way that you can then use it on your website, in your introductions when you're speaking or speaking on a stage or you're being interviewed on a podcast. Um, any of your sales pages, everything that you do has to have information about you. And you don't want to have data of your accomplishments in a way that isn't connecting with your audience. So if you can take your credentials and share it in a way that is connected to or wrapped around a story, it's going to make your business brand or your personal brand even stronger. So tweak number three is to make sure that you niche down in what you do with your business. Now, I know I talk about this a lot and I know so many people feel that they don't want to hear it. They don't want to niche down. Uh, but the reason why it's so important to niche down is because, first of all, one of the best way to get clients is through referral. So when you niche down, you become more referable. And that is a way for you to elevate your business brand. It's because you are becoming easier for people to refer business to you. Second of all, when you niche down, now you know where to go, where your ideal clients hang out. You don't want to go to a big event hoping you'll find one or two of your ideal clients. That's what people tend to do, right? They're generalists. They want to just go out and meet people and, and just hope that the right person crosses their path. However, if you niche down so tightly, you can actually go find people that are collecting around that topic or around that niche. And now, instead of having one or two potential clients in, at that gathering, now you have the majority of everybody there who could be ideal clients. So an example would be, say you are a business coach and you help um, uh, people in the wellness industry. Like, so say you've niched down to there. Now, if you want to niche down even further and say, I help chiropractors, all right? So that's niching down further. And now you know where to go to find chiropractors, right? You go network into chiropractor associations and you go to all of these places that you can actually connect with that specific person and you become like known, like you become well-known, you become a, a highly sought after brand in that community because you know how to get that people, that group of people, amazing results, and now they're going to talk about it. So that's a, a great way to build your personal brand is to uh, make sure you hang out in the places that your niche clients tend to, tend to gather. Okay, so that is Three. Now, the fourth one is for you to get a new website, right? Get a new website, get a new visual pre presence and be unapologetic about it. If you want to have purple hair because you feel that that resonates with you and you are connected to a person that has purple hair, like you just feel that you need to be that person, get purple hair. Whatever it looks like, Create a visual brand that represents who you are, the essence of who you are. And I know quite often people have a hard time with this, and I will raise my hand. Now, I have been serving women specifically for about 22 years. I started a women's networking organization in 2022, and for years, I wanted a tattoo and thought, I can't get a tattoo. There's no way. I am serving a bunch of women. I don't want them to judge me. 
I don't want them to honestly judge me, right? I didn't want to get a visible tattoo. So all of my tattoos for the first, I don't know, 15 years of having that organization, they were all hidden, right? They were not in places that you could see them. However, about five years ago, I got this, well, there it is, this badass tattoo. And it is a, so you can't see it. So ah, it's on my forearm. I forget that you may be seeing the video, but you possibly or probably are just listening to the audio. And I've got this incredible tattoo on my forearm and it has representation of my mom, my daughter, my grandkids, my faith, um, a diamond because I resonate with a diamond, how it's over years been compacted and pressurized to become this brilliant hard stone, right? Coal turned into a beautiful diamond through pressure. So I resonate with that. And so I love my tattoo. I am unapologetic about my tattoo and I plan to get more in visible places when I can kind of get my designs figured out in my brain and find the right tattoo artist. But that is, I think, a key piece to all of this is for you to enhance your visual brand and be unapologetic about that. What are you doing to get your brand out there? What are you maybe shying away from with creating a visual brand? Think about it. Maybe it's nothing. But if you were to have unlimited resources and had the most amazing creative designer and their mission or her mission or her his, hers or his mission is to create a visual brand for you for all of your marketing, what would that look like? Can you envision that? And if so, why don't you create that? It doesn't take a lot of money. Heck, half of the website pictures, half of the pictures on my website were taken with my cell phone and the right lighting. I created a little studio in one of my bedrooms a few years ago, and I created a ton, or I took a bunch of pictures that turned out to be some of them useful for my marketing and all of the things I do online. So I'm looking to do some more because um, I think it's fun and I feel sometimes more comfortable doing it with my phone and a little clicker in my hand. Uh, but either way, you can make amazing pictures or get amazing pictures on a decent budget if you're creative around it. All right, and so number five of the five tweaks to boost your personal brand is to leverage AI. Now, I don't mean to get lost in AI and do a lot of time-wasting things in AI, which is very easy to do. What I mean is to be very strategic in how you use AI so that way you can get the best action plan, the best resources, the best wording, everything you need to elevate your brand and communicate with your ideal client. Now I have this incredible AI, well, I have an incredible AI story creation tool. Um, I also have an incredible AI offer creation tool. And I have been using this with my clients in Epic Mastery for the last six or seven months. And it is so much fun. Um, I don't use it for them to not do the work. I have other uh, processes for them to do the work to initially get some clarity and get their business plan mapped out. But once they've done that, I've got an amazing process to help them refine it or improve on it, or maybe just make some changes, like gear off in another direction. Um, but sometimes it takes those specific AI prompts to lead you down a path that you may never thought of before and that you may find are going to get you even better results. So use AI strategically so that your brand becomes unique and elevated above everybody else in your field. All right, my friends, did you find those tips to be helpful or I should say those tweaks to be helpful? I hope so. Um, if you would like to connect with me, learn how you can enhance your story 
brand or your authority brand, I have a quiz and it is a story authority quiz, or maybe it's even just a story star quiz or an authority quiz. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but all you have to do is go to getthewholescoop.com. You'll have a bunch of resources on there, including a link for you to take the quiz that will give you get you on the right path to create your perfect story brand. So again, I hope you found this session to be helpful or this episode to be helpful. If so, stick around. I've got one more session next week that is going to help you design your perfect high ticket group program. I've got a, a step-by-step -step path, or I should say a roadmap. I'm going to talk a little bit about what that looks like for my clients, what that could look like for you. So you can adopt it to create your own high impact, high ticket program that's going to get your clients amazing results. So again, head over to getthewholescoop.com, get your free resources. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little link on there for you to uh, book a little 15 minute, either a 15 minute story strategy call or a 15 minute profitization audit. Either way, it's a quick call where you can just jump on with me, ask any questions you may have. And then if you feel you want more information about anything specific in an area that I can help you, then I will give you another link and we'll dive in a little bit deeper. All right, my friends, thank you for being loyal fans, or I should say loyal listeners of the Epic Mastery Podcast, please go over to iTunes and follow us. It's the new way for us to gauge our um, our audience is by followers. It's new. So if you've already su subscribed to us, please head over and follow us because following is the new thing. And we want to be a part of that new group of people that has lots of followers. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in seven days. All right. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for listening to the Mastery Unleashed podcast, where we believe that everyone can have the business and life of their dreams by turning their mess into their greatest message and following their purpose to help the people who need their newfound wisdom and resources. To learn more, visit MasteryUnleashedPodcast.com. And don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review to this show.